Okay, hi friends. Did you have fun playing? Did you guys play inside, outside? Did you play maybe play a board game with a brother or sister or a parent? I took a walk to the garbage and took some trash out and had an orange. That's what I did during our break. So let's get into it. Let's start with our special letter delivery. I wonder what letter it could be. Uh-oh, my letter's off. We have a different one we can use. Ready? There it goes. What's our letter? Do, 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 do. Can you see it on there? It is very hard to see. It is the letter R. Big line down, small curve at the top, and a line diagonal. Kick out. Big line down, round, and down. Hmm. Oh, here's a word that starts with the letter R. It's a rake. R -r 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 rake. Let's think of some other words. We have rainbow, rake, rose. Can you think of any other words that start with the r sound? Hmm. Look to a parent or someone that's in the room with you and say a word that starts with the letter r. r. That sounds like r. Rainbow, rake, rain, run. Good job, friends. Great words. Let's see if we can use our wooden pieces and make the letter R. Hmm. So let's think about it. We need a big line down, big line down, small curve at the Small curve at the top. That's right. Small curve at the top. So it's going to get tricky holding it all. And then we will have a small line diagonally at the bottom. Did I do it? Does it look backwards to you? I hope not. Still trying to learn this whole filming thing, kiddos. So there is our letter R. Great job. Thank you for helping me. We will work on some more R's later on throughout the week. Okay. Okay. So while I was at home trying to stay healthy and sheltered in place, I thought of a game that we could play. It has to do with counting and insects. So I made a little friend here. Here's my insect. Do you remember how many body parts the insect has? Three main parts. The head, the thorax, and its abdomen. There's something missing on the insect. What is it? What could it be? That's right, the legs. Oh, here's his legs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. Let's put all six legs on our little friend. Two, three, four, five. Six. So our friend has six legs on its body. What would happen if I took one leg away? We 
had six legs. We had six. We took one away. Now we have, that's right, five. Five legs. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Now let's take three away. Take three away from our friend. One, two, I'm ripping them too. Three. Took three legs away. Now how many do we have left? We had five. We took one, two, three away. How many do we have left? We have two. Two legs left. One, two. You guys can draw a bug and make some legs at home and you can play that game too. Maybe mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, someone over the phone you can play with that. Might be a fun idea. I'm talking about bugs and counting. I found this fun book. It's called The Icky Bug. The Icky Bug Counting Book. Let's check it out. Zero. Most counting books start with the number one. This book starts with none. Zero. Zero is a number. There are zero bugs on this page. Here is one. Zebra, swallowtail, butterfly on a flower. Butterflies taste things with their feet. Can you imagine if people tasted their ice cream cones with their feet? Two. Flies may have gotten their name because they fly so well. On this page, there are two yellow jacket flies. They are often mistaken for yellow jacket wasps, but yellow jacket flies do not sting. Three. Three elegant crab spiders are walking on a branch looking for insects to eat. It is hard to believe anyone would name a spider elegant. All spiders have eight legs, and most even have eight eyes. Four paper wasps are building their nest. Paper wasps chew on wood. They mix up the chewed up wood with their saliva to make paper nests. Wasps could make paper thousands of years before people learned how. Butterflies rest with their wings straight up. Here we have five butterflies. Birds do not eat these good tasting butterflies because they look almost exactly like bad tasting monarch butterflies. I wouldn't want to eat either. Would you? Would you like to eat those butterflies? They are hard to find, but there are six underwig moths on this page. Underwing moths hide by blending in with the barks of trees. Every now and then they show the colorful underwings. All moths rest with their wings down. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's time to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here are seven trap jaw ants. Ouch, ouch, ouch. They capture other bugs with their hungry jaws. Eight bright green stink bugs are crawling on these branches. If a person picks up a stink bug, his or hands his or her hands will smell awful. Stink bug is a perfect name for these smelly bugs. Nine. Nine colorful red milkweed beetles are walking on these leaves. These bugs lay their eggs on milkweed plants. Thousands and thousands of different kinds of beetles live all over the world. 
10. There's an old saying, everyone wants to be a butterfly, but nobody wants to be a caterpillar. Every butterfly was a caterpillar before it became a butterfly. On this page, there are 10 question mark caterpillars. They will become 10 question mark butterflies. Why are they called question mark butterflies? That's a good question. Why do you think? Hmm. Holy cow, this book goes really far. I'm going to put a bookmark on number 10, and we will continue this as the week goes on. Okay. Awesome. Now it's time to go and get some movement out. Can you guys um, do five jumping jacks for me? I'd like you guys to do five jumping jacks and four lunges like a stick bug lunges and three creepy crawler spider reaching up to the sky and two butterfly wings and one hmm, one march like an ant and I will see you guys in a couple minutes okay bye